Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a blog post slider in Elementor website. If you are using Elementor Pro plugin, then you do not need any third party plugin to create a post slider. You can use the Elementor loop carousal feature to create the post slider. In previous video, I have shown you how you can create a WooCommerce product slider using the loop carousal feature. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now in this video, we are going to create the blog post slider using the loop carousal. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo WordPress website and on this website, I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. The loop carousal element is a part of Elementor Pro plugin, so you will need Elementor Elementor Pro plugin. So let's go to the home page and let's say on the home page at the bottom I want to add the post carousal or the post slider. So let's go to edit with Elementor for this page. So you can use loop carousal on any page. It is not only for home page. So let's scroll down and let's say here I want to add the post carousal. So let's add a new section here and let's add some padding also to the top and to the bottom. And let's add heading. So this is going to be the heading. Now below that we are going to add the loop carousal. So let's go to plus sign and search for loop carousal. If you search for loop, you will see loop grid and loop carousal. Loop grid is to show the post or the products in grid and loop carousal will be used to create a slider or the carousal. So I'm going to drag it and drop it below the title. Now it is going to ask you to create a template for the loop carousal. Here you will see layout and choose template type is set to post as we are going to create the carousal for the post. We are going to select post. In the previous video, instead of post, we selected products to create the WooCommerce product slider. So here we are going to select post and below that it says choose a template. So we need to create a new template for the post slider. We already created one template for the WooCommerce product slider. So for the post slider, we are going to create a template. So click on create template. Would you like to save the changes? Let's save the changes and create a new template. So this is the section where we are going to create the template. Click on the plus sign and select the section here. This is going to be single column and click on plus sign. Now these are the elements that you can use to create a post slider. This is the post title. Then we have post excerpt, post content, featured image and post info. So let's start with the featured image, drag it and drop it here. And these are the settings for the featured image. This is going to be a featured image. Click on plus sign again. With that I want to add post title. And let's make it, let's say H4, click on plus sign. Below that, I want to add post excerpt. So if you have any excerpt for the post, it will show that here. And below that, I want to use, let's say, post info. So it shows author, date, time, and comments. Let's delete author. So it will show date, time, and the number of comments. Click on the plus sign again. And now below this, I want to add a button. That will be like a read more button. When someone clicks on it, it will go to that blog post. So let's search for a button, drag it and drop it here. Uh, let's change the text, read more. And here you will see link and we are going to link it with the post URL. So go to dynamic tags and select post URL. So it will go to that particular post URL when someone clicks on it. So we have the image, then title, excerpt, post info and read more button. Let's change the style settings for the read more button. Let's make it stretch. And if you want to change the color, you can also change the color for the button. Let's try changing the color. Let's make it black. And when I hover it, let's make it blue. So it will be like this. Now let's go to this title. Uh, let's change the color for the title or the typography. Let's make it 18 pixel. Center align it. Let's change the color also. So you can customize each and every element according to your requirement. So this is the template that we have created. Let's click on save and back. Now we are back to home page and here you will see the layout. This is how it is going to look. Now you can see that the image is not set up properly. So I'm going to click on edit template again and we are going to fix the width and height of the image. So we are back to the template. 
So this is the template that we created. If I go to loop item settings, you will see the name of the template. Let's change it to post slider so that we will understand use of this template. Now select this image, go to image resolution and let's change it to custom. And I'm going to make it, let's say 600 by 400, apply it. And then all the images will use the same size. If you want to link this image back to the URL of the blog post, you can select, you can go to link, select custom URL, go to dynamic tags and link it with post URL. So when someone clicks on it, it will go to that blog post. Let's select the post title also. And we are going to link that post title also. Go to content, go to link, dynamic tags, select post URL. So when someone clicks on it, it will go back to the post URL. Let's click on save and back. Now we are back to home page. And now you will see all the images are using the same size. Now select this loop carousal element and you will see the settings for the loop carousal. The layout is set to post then we have this template post slider that we created how many slides do you want to show it is set to six slides so it is going to show the sixth post in the slider slides on display will be three so you will see three columns and three slides to be on display slides on scroll so when it scrolls it is going to scroll to the next slide only one slide if i change it to number of two you will see two slides will be scrolled like this so you can change that setting here equal height is set to yes then go to query it is set to post now if you want to show the post from a particular category you can filter them out include by term and use the category let's say on this website i have only one category that is blog so you will see that category here if you have multiple categories you can select different categories and the blog post from that particular category will be shown in the slider. There is another option that is author. If you have multiple authors, then you can filter them based on the author. Below that we have date, past day, past week, past month, past month, past quarter, past year or custom. So you can filter them using the date, order them by date, title, menu order, last modified comment and random ascending and descending then we have ignore sticky post below that we have settings autoplay is enabled scroll speed is 5000 milliseconds which is nothing but five seconds so after each five seconds it is going to scroll to the next slide pause on hover is enabled if i move the cursor on it it is going to pause pause on interaction is also enabled infinite scroll is enabled this is the transition duration you can change the direction also Currently it is set to left. If I change it to right, you will see now it is going to slide to the right direction like this. So you can change the direction. Then we have offset slide. If I change it to both, you will see two slides are offset. Here you will see the first one and this is the second one. So on the left and on the right, you will see offset slides. If I change it to left, it will show one offset slide on the left hand side so i'm going to select none then we have navigation show arrows you will see the arrows here we can change the settings of the arrows you can change the position for the arrow and you can also change the size then we have pagination this is the pagination at the bottom you will see dots fractions or progress so i can use progress and it will show the progress at the top then we have fractions you will see the fraction here and you can use the dots also now let's go to style settings and from here you can change the style settings the gap between slides is set to 10 you can change the gap let's make it 5 navigation these are the settings for the arrows so you can change the size and you can change the color also so now you will see the change in the color background you can set up the background also let's use black background and white color so you will see the arrow background is black and the arrow color is white. You can also change the size like this. Then we have pagination. You can change the settings for the pagination. You can change the size of the dots and you can change the color also. Once done, click on publish. And let's go to a view page. 
I scroll down and here you will see the post slider which is set to autoplay so if i click on this image it will go to that blog post in future if you want to customize the template you can go to dashboard below elementor you will see templates under templates you will see theme builder go to theme builder then go to loop item and this is the template that we created for the woocommerce product slider and this is the template that we created for the post slider so if you want to edit you can go to edit and from here you can customize the template so if you are using elementor pro plugin on your website you can create the post slider using the loop carousel widget so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.